Grumpy Monkey Valentine Gross Out by Susan Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. Jim Pansy was enjoying a nap in the sun when a voice awakened him. Jim, do you like my flower? tweeted Oxpecker. My boyfriend gave it to me because we're in love. Love, said Jim. Gross. Don't be jealous. Also, my boyfriend is making me a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day, tweeted Oxpecker. Valentine's Day? What's that? asked Jim. It's a day for love, replied Oxpecker, full of hearts and sweets and flowers and romance. It's the loveliest, doubliest, most wonderfulest holiday. Yuck, said Jim. It sounds more like the grossest holiday. Jim went to find his neighbor Norman. I bet Norman thinks Valentine's Day is as gross as I do, thought Jim. But when he got to Norman's branch, his neighbor was busy. I'm making some love cards, said Norman. Catch you later. Jim couldn't believe it. Even Norman liked Valentine's Day. Everywhere Jim went, there were couples being gross. Couples exchanging cards. Couples gazing into each other's eyes. Couples giggling for no reason. Couples slow dancing. Cuddling couples. Snuggling couples. And worst of all, kissing couples. Finally, Jim couldn't take it anymore. Ew, Valentine's Day is the grossest holiday. It's true, all the kissing is pretty gross, said Norman. But Valentine's Day isn't just about couples. There are lots of kinds of love, said Norman. Like the love you have for your parents. And the love parents feel for their children, said Jim's mom. And the love you feel for your friends, said Norman. Valentine's Day is about showing the people you love that you love them, said Jim's dad. Jim's arms were full, full of things that made him feel loved. It was a nice feeling that he wanted to share. And so he made Valentine's for all his friends and family. Maybe Valentine's Day isn't so gross after all, he thought. Gross! The end. Thanks for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Love from the Crayons by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Love is red because love comes in all shapes and sizes. Love is purple because love has its own imagination. Love is brown, because love is sweet like chocolate. Love is gray, because love can be small and soft, or big and strong. Love is white, because sometimes love is hard to see. Love is green because love is helpful. Love is yellow and orange because love is sunny and warm. Love is blue because sometimes love is stormy. Love is pink because love can be silly. Love is peach because sometimes love can hide. Love is black because love isn't always bright and colorful. 
Love is every color. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll love you till the cows come home. Catherine Cristaldi, Christina Litton. I will love you till the cows come home. From a trip to Mars through skies unknown. In a rocket ship made of glass and stone. I will love you till the cows come home. I will love you till the yaks come back from a jaunt downtown for a grassy snack, in a fire truck or a Cadillac. I will love you till the yaks come back. I will love you till the sheep set sail on a cruise ship bound for the Isle of Kale, past manatees and a humpback whale. I will love you till the sheep set sail. I will love you till the wolves return from a bumpy ride over rocks and fern. The pigs all shouting with concern. I will love you till the wolves return. I will love you till the frogs ride past on big wheeled bikes going super fast. In a circus for seahorses, shrimp and bass, I will love you till the frogs ride past. I will love you till the deer dance by from a tap contest under the blue sky with a prize of clover and twig pot pie. I will love you till the deer dance by. I will love you till the geese flap down to a warm ski lodge in a snowy town with gourmet s'mores all chocolatey brown. I will love you till the geese flap down. I will love you till the ants march in, wearing tiny ant hats and tiny ant grins, and birthday cake crumbs on their tiny ant chins. I will love you till the ants march in. I'll love you till then, and again and again, till my love makes a bed for the cows in their pen, and the yaks and the sheep and the wolves settle in, and the frogs softly strum on their frog violins, and the deer and the geese and the ants close their eyes as the moon sprinkles moon dust all over the skies. I will love you till the cows come home, come home. I will love you till the cows come home. The end. Thanks for watching. Little Blue Trucks Valentine. Alice Shirtle, Jill McElmory. Little Blue Truck was on his way delivering cards on Valentine's Day. Blue felt happy, for truth to tell, he hoped he'd get some cards as well. Blue drove into Hen's front yard with a polka dot egg-shaped Valentine's card. Blue said beep and Hen said cluck. What a perfect Valentine, little blue truck. Pig's pink card said Please be mine. Beep, said Blue. Happy Valentine. Oink, said Pig. A pretty pink. Just right for cards and pigs, I think. In his big red barn was Big Brown Horse. And Blue brought a big red card, of course. Nay, said Horse. What's this I see? A card almost as big as me. His card for cow had a big bouquet. Beep, said Blue. Happy Valentine's Day. Moo, said Cow. What a treat. A card that's good enough to eat. Duck was out for a nice cool swim. And Blue had a special card for him. A heart-shaped sail on a little red boat. Quack, said Duck. My card can float. Two last cards for goat and sheep with candy hearts, beep, beep, beep. Bah, said sheep. Sweet card, Blue. Ma, said goat. Mine is too. Blue headed home and all the way, he tried to be glad it was Valentine's Day. 
But Valentine's Day didn't seem much fun when he didn't get cards from anyone. His own front door was open wide, home at last, Blue drove inside. He couldn't believe his headlight eyes. Everyone yelled, surprise, surprise. Together now, croaked Toad, let's hear it. Quack it, cluck it, oink it, cheer it. Hip hooray for a friend that's true. You're our Valentine, little Blue. The end. Thanks for watching. How to Catch a Lovasaurus by Alice Walstead and Andy Elkerton. On the walls are posters and pictures too. Each shouts, opening day, come meet a rare find. The Natural History Museum has a new show, a special creature, furry, warm, loving, and kind. In a great hidden valley, explorers discovered something enormous in size. A friend to the dinos and each living thing, he had purple fur and big bright blue eyes. He's called the Lovasaurus, the first ever found. His greetings had hugs and a giggling sound. Then he spoke quite clearly and said to the team, To spread kindness and joy round the world is my dream. So happy you found me. Now I can begin my quest. Can you bring me some place to begin as your guest? He was inside a theater behind the closed doors while a large crowd was waiting outside. We opened a side door to get a quick peek. He zoomed past us and we saw his backside. People are waiting, we must get him back, but he's with the whale fish and shells. You'd think he'd be easy to spot in this room, all we can find is his note on the well. There are knights in armor all around us now. We see feast and jousting and horses. There's a rustle, a clang, and a laughing sound. The guard wants to know what the source is. Earth, space, and planets, it's so dark in here. The amazing show lights up the sky. There's a note on each chair with a smiley face. But was that a tail we just saw fly by? In the African savanna with animals and more, there are so many places to hide. Behind tall giraffes or under the rhinos, how would he begin to decide? Let's rest on the benches and sit for a while. There are crayons, paper, and pencils. These weren't here the last time we came. Now, how did he make animal stencils? He's run over now to the Egypt exhibit. There are pharaohs and even a crypt. We see gold masks, jars, mummies, and signs. Then there's a loud bang when he slipped. Of course it makes sense this is where he would go. He loves his dinosaur friends. And here are more notes like say hi, please, and thanks. Could this be where the chase ends? He's vanished somehow, nowhere to be seen. How could he be gone in a blink? He left us so many gifts, notes, and signs. There's a message he wants us to think. Back at the theater, the doors are open now, with flowers and notes on each chair. Each different. Say hi, smile, share, you're great. And one big sign, spread kindness everywhere. The Lovasaurus wants each of us to be happy. We didn't catch him, but his message is clear. We can share with everyone what's in our heart. Hug, smiles, love, kindness, and cheer. We head back through the exhibits we'd seen. Walking through each exhibit takes a while. Everywhere we look, we see happy people. The Lovasaurus made each person smile. The end. Thanks for watching. Spread kindness everywhere. Turkey's Valentine Surprise by Wendy Salvano, illustrated by Lee Harper. It was Valentine's Day, and all the animals on Farmer Jake's farm were exchanging cards and treats. Turkey pulled the card out of his valentine box. His waddle wiggled with delight as he read the note. Dear Turkey, you are like no otter from a secret admirer. Ooh, how otterly clever, said Turkey. 
Valentines from a secret admirer are the most fun. He shook his tail feathers. I'm going to make one for each of my pals, and I will deliver them in disguise so they stay secret. Turkey was determined to make valentines that were just as clever as the one he'd gotten. He just needed some inspiration. Then he found it. Perfect. I know just the disguise to go with this valentine, said Turkey. Rooster, you're perfect. From a secret admirer. Rooster won't pay any attention to a cat passing by. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a cat. Almost. Inch by inch, he crept closer to Rooster's valentine box. Just as he slipped the card inside, Rooster flew down and grabbed it. I have a feline that you're not a cat. You're Turkey, said Rooster. But what a clever valentine. Oh, gobble, gobble, moaned Turkey. I wanted it to be a secret surprise. Sorry, said Rooster. Maybe I can surprise Horse, said Turkey. But first I need a new card idea. How about this, said Rooster. Perfect, said Turkey. I know just the disguise to go with this. Horse won't notice an extra dog running around the farm. Horse, you're doggone delightful. From a secret admirer. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a dog. Almost. Rooster threw a ball toward Horse's valentine box. Fetch, he crowed. Turkey ran on all fours the best he could. Woof, woof. He dropped the valentine into Horse's box, grabbed the ball, and hid behind a bush to watch what would happen. Horse read the card and peeked behind the bush. You mutt as well come out, turkey, he said. I know it's you, but thanks for the nice valentine. Oh, gobble, gobble, groaned turkey. I wanted it to be a secret surprise. Sorry, said horse. Maybe I can help you surprise someone else. Who's next? Cow, said turkey. Just give me a minute to find another idea. Turkey scoured the ground. This one's it, he declared. Totally awesome. Cow, you're totally awesome. From a secret admirer. He made Cow's valentine. I know just the disguise to go with this. Cow would think nothing of seeing a toad hopping around the farm. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a toad. Almost. Turkeys aren't good hoppers, Turkey told Horse. Will you help me reach Cow's valentine box? Just as Turkey was about to put the card in Cow's box, Horse hit a bump. F-thud! Cow shook her head. What's up, Turkey? Why do you look like a toad? Oh, gobble, 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 wailed Turkey. I just wanted to give all my pals secret surprise valentine cards. But they've all been ruined. Cow read the card. But this is still a wonderful valentine, she said. How about I help you deliver sheeps and pigs cards? They're both in the barn. That would be gobble gobble great, said Turkey. An owl shouldn't have any problem sneaking a valentine into their boxes. They probably won't even look up. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like an owl. Almost. Sheep, you're a hoot. From a secret admirer. Pig, I'm telling you, you're cool. From a secret admirer. Cow and Turkey stealthily made their way up to the hayloft in the barn. Cow held tight to the rope as she lowered Turkey down, bit by bit. Turkey swung left. Turkey swung right. He was almost there. Achoo! Fwomp! Sheep looked over at Pig. Is it owl in my head, or did Turkey just fall from the sky? Pig picked up the fallen valentines and gave Sheep hers. Cool valentines, Turkey. Thank you, said Pig. Turkey sighed. I gobble gobble give up.
I wanted you all to get surprise secret valentines because they're the most fun. But you all found out they were from me. Your valentines were still great, said sheep. And so clever, said cow. We love them, said pig. Us, Us too. too, said rooster and horse. Turkey trudged over to his box and plopped down. Maybe next year I can surprise them. He decided to distract himself from his disappointment by reading his own valentines. Then he saw a heart that gave him one last idea. That's it, screeched Turkey. I've got to hurry. The valentines dance starts in just two hours. Turkey peeked into the barn. No one was there yet. He delivered his secret surprise and hustled away unseen. I love you all to pizzas from a secret admirer. At the dance, everyone was delighted with the delicious pizza. Turkey couldn't keep from smiling. No one will ever know it was me, he said. This is the most clever Valentine surprise ever. The end. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.